Hi everybody. Welcome to our welcome to our channel gemonbread.io. Uh, today we have deadly sins or eternals on our channel. Welcome, welcome Zora. Hey, thank you for having me on, Michael. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, thanks for accepting the invite. So, yeah, uh, let's start off. Uh, we've got ten questions in front of us. Let's start with question number one, and awesome. that is. If you could give us a 30 second overview of the deadly sins. Um, hey, uh, I'm Zora, um, uh, one of the owners of the deadly sins. Uh, here we're building a law driven social hub game that will have multiple aspects connected to the Cardano network. The game is based in a place called the Overworld, and it will be host to group quests, arena battles, and general fun social activities or games, all powered using Unreal Engine 5. Uh, the currency used in this game uh, is our very own native token, Eternal, which will be used for various in-game activities, including that of purchasing or crafting overworld items, for instance. We are partnered with a professional game development studio from Sweden and have already made some great progress, which has been shared with our community on a regular basis, such as the current landmark being developed named Hell's House. Cool. Thanks a lot. Now no let's go to the question number two. Uh, what utility comes with owning this NFT? So the main collection, uh, the Deadly Sins, the main utility of uh, our OG collection is having full access to all the features and perks you will find within the overworld, the game we're developing, um, including uh, being able to download its 3D avatar and play as it in any supported engine. Um, additional perks include earning Eternal on our staking platform, that's just launched by the way, uh, holder-only community events with generous prizes, and the, abil the ability sorry, to help shape our law and other ventures that our project takes. Cool. All right. Sounds great. Now, could you tell us uh, how did you come up with the whole idea? <laughs> uh, so funnily enough, uh, <laughs> my favorite childhood game was uh, one called uh, Club Penguin. And I, I remember loving the social aspects to it and the adventures and stuff you could partake in. So I was quite young playing this, uh, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I, I liked that so much as a kid. It's a bit of a, a nostalgic feel to me, it's for me. But I thought, why can't I add a more of a um, mature focus in creating a world and have those similar aspects whilst making use of the, the Cardano network? And I thought it'd be an awesome idea having quests and um, everything whilst using different features like the Eternal token we have, uh, but really gamifying it and uh, having a, not a, a penguin theme as such, but um, <laughs> actually a theme in which one what we make up and something that is that fits our current uh, interest and would work with a more mature audience. So having uh, the overworld as the foundation and all the strong connections we have in the gaming industry and an amazing community behind us is what well, it really helps make anything of this possible. And we, we also kind of went for a, a, a fantasy theme when building our world, uh, which we decided, uh, since myself and Amy, who is the other co-owner, um, really into the whole uh, fantasy magic aspect of stories. Mm -hmm. Awesome, <clears throat> awesome, thanks. Now let's move on to question number four. Uh, what is the team behind the Deadly Sins? Of course, um, we're, we're a strong, strong team of three. Uh, we're full docs with Ted Nation. Uh, my name, uh, real name, <laughs> is Ethan, <laughs> but I go by Zora in Web3. Uh, I'm the developer and project director for The Deadly Sins, and I studied com computer science and AI at university. I believe all these skills help me significantly in this relative space. Um, Amy, who goes by Fana, as you can see on the left there, uh, is the digital artist of The Deadly Sins, and she's also the creative director. Uh, she studied graphic design at university and is very skilled at turning ideas into a visual reality um, and has really helped for our own project and also in designing um, our Clayverse pitch, which I, which I can mention a bit later. Um, uh, and it was Solomon, as you see on the right, who goes by Solly. Um, he's our uh, marketing manager, uh, networker and social media expert and he can communicate products very well uh, to an audience and has a really amazing and innovative, 
innovative ideas to bring non-redundant utility to the space and to our project. Cool. So the team of three, like three musketeers. Nice. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Now, question number five. Uh, what was the greatest obstacle for you? Okay. <clears throat> so uh, taking a step back, uh, we mint minted back in uh, June of 2022. And this was really the, the start of the bear market lows where uh, not many, I guess, projects were uh, succeeding because there was the low liquidity and a lot of, uh, I guess, scaredness in the market. So we were one of the very few projects which actually sold out in that time frame. So we, we still managed to sell out quite convincingly. But however, a couple months in, um, our floor was half below mint price and the energy in the chat wasn't great if you took a whole a holistic look at the whole chat and um, we've always had an amazing vision but we did uh, really struggle back then to keep morale high um, mm -hmm. but thankfully um, we really did have have but we still do um, have great supporters from day one who stuck with us through all of that and kept motivating us and really um, pushing out the stuff we were building so mm. we spent our time like really crafting and building and showing that we're actually serious builders and and wanting the best for this project and thankfully um because we believed in the proof of work and dedication over time would pay off and it definitely did because the community really uh stuck up for us and mm. uh shared what we were doing and um, it got more eyes on us and we managed to uh, really hit it off when we started to get some steam back. And now after, after all that, it was months of uh, work we had to go through, but uh, we now have passed over a million volume in ADA. And um, yeah, the fruits of our labor are just kicking in now uh, with the work that we were building for a lot of it. So we have a lot to show for, and honestly, it's just the beginning for us. So yeah, that was our biggest obstacle was getting over that that low point and changing mm -hmm. the energy in the chat. And it was hard on us as owners as well, because as I said, as we, I said, we have this vision and we wanted to create it, but it's, it is hard if like, you, you need that support as a project owner. And thankfully our community stuck with us. It was great. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. Nice, nice. All right. Now that you talked about some hardship, uh, what outcomes are you proud of the most after all of um, that? <laughs> well, to be short and sweet, uh, yeah, we're most proud of uh, the community we, we've, we've built uh, and the connections we've made and all the hard work and dedication it's taken our team to get to this point. Yeah. I would, I would say said. that's what, what right. I've got from it. <laughs> cool. So shout out to the community. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, question number seven. Uh, what can we look forward to in the next 12 months? Okay. Well, our staking platform just dropped a couple of days ago, and we'll be gamifying it over the coming months, including the use of factions, which will provide the opportunity to earn more eternal in team-based efforts. As you can see, the whole faction period there, it says coming soon. Um, there's a lot we'll be doing with that. Um, we are revamping our website as well with some really awesome interactive features including that of hosting our first Eternal Mints of the collectible series we have. This is expected around late March time. Um, we have merchandise on the way. Um, it's all, already been mocked up um, with the help of our VIP members, the owners of the Phantom Key. Um, mm. And we are making our first bulk order, um, hopefully mid-February. Um, this will also be sold uh, via our revamped revamped sorry website when it comes the time comes uh we will have more sneak peeks of our uh, game development also throughout um the early year and we uh, um I, I don't want to promise but i'm pretty certain we'll be able to um host an offline but playable quest to earn a special item um in and redeemable in the form of an nft which will help um obviously promote our game but also it gives everyone a feel for uh, what we're developing and how the, the quality at which is being developed. And uh, regarding what others, the, the, I guess the, the biggest alpha you may say is um, we, we have another mint this year. Yes. <laughs> um, and it, not like right now in the next couple of months, but it's happening this year. 
um, I guess the best thing I, the, uh, the biggest clue I can give here, I'd say, is it's the eternal enemies of the deadly sins. Um, we're kind of thinking around June, July time, which is essentially one year after we actually minted the deadly sins. So yeah, I think that's the main things to keep in mind for what we have going forward this year. Okay, cool. So I think that the audience should uh, subscribe to your channel, follow you, and uh, see when the Twitter announcement comes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they can line up and be the first ones to know. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Now let's move <laughs> on to the next question. Uh, are you looking for help? Um, we don't need any help in the sense of uh, going forward with development, all the work's already in place. However, we do host weekly Twitter spaces uh, um, every Saturday and invite projects on to talk about their own vision and their project and what they're developing. So if anyone's interested, do feel free to open a support ticket in our Discord server and we may book you in. Or if, if it's a project you like, tell the owners and to, to book in with us. We're, we're always open to that. and. We've actually um, had someone come on before through a recommendation, so it's all possible. <laughs> all right. Now, question number nine. Uh, could you tell us something personal? Okay. Uh, if I relate it to the project, um, this has uh, been a like life-changing experience for all of us in the team in many ways, uh, as particularly for Amy. Um, she lost her spark with art a few years back due to drawing things she wasn't inspired by in her schooling and was even close to leaving her talents behind but this project brought her spark back drawing in the creative style she loves supported by an amazing community who rock her art as pfps and compliment her on all the work she does that really has been amazing for her and i personally have seen how that's um helped her um for me um, I've been wanting to create my own story and uh, kind of like venture for a, for a while. And through this game and community, it's been exactly what I've 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 wanted, and it's been been it really been amazing. And meeting the community members in person in CNFT Con in Las Vegas, it's really solidified this and made all of it so much more real in in, in my head. And actually putting the faces to the names you see in Discord every day, it, it has been it, it definitely has lit a fire in me. And mm. um, I'm I'm really excited for the future of, with this. And um, yeah, that's been for me. And for Solomon. Um, he's he's a content creator at heart and he runs lots of social media pages successful ones at that but he, i know in particular he has loved running our community he's made lots of close bonds here through this journey which i know has definitely been a positive force for him mm -hmm. cool cool so we can tell that uh, the nfts can change lives to some degree yeah <laughs> yeah i'd say so <laughs> all right now, last question. We are running out of time. What is the mm -hmm. final suggestion for the audience? Okay, well, um, I'd say we recommend checking out our wiki, uh, which details all of our project information currently, including the longer term vision. But feel free to, I would say, to also check out our staking platform and what we have planned for that in the near future. Because by owning just one deadly sin, you will be able to participate in the gamified staking um, in which, uh, with teams, which hasn't really been seen before. And I'm sure it'll be a positive experience, uh, with us along with our welcoming community. Cool. Cool. All right. So the, the audience should go to eternals.gitbook.io. Mm -hmm. Look up all this info and, and see on your wiki, what, what are they supposed to do? And, and how does the staking work? What are the tokenomics and stuff? Yeah, it has it details everything from early to finish, and it's it's a it's a living document, so it, it evolves over time as well. So you can check it. You can always uh, bookmark the tab and check in on a later date and see what's going on. Awesome, sounds good. Thanks for being here. Thanks for giving you all the important input for the audience. I hope that they are now slightly more convinced that the project is definitely not dead. It's definitely alive and and developing and. There's going to be some cool stuff coming for the duration of this year, uh, mainly the mint that you were mentioned. So, yeah, we are all looking forward to that. Thanks again for coming here and uh, have a great day. Thank you for inviting me on. Really appreciate it. You too. Cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs>